Kristen's rain as. <laughs> Alright, guys, we got a personal box coming up. There are personal boxes. My last two of Star Wars Black and White. So, give me one second while I get this. Uh... You guys, remember every spot you buy or every personal you buy gets you a spot in this month's uh, jersey giveaway, which is a pick. It's an option between an autographed Amari Cooper jersey or an autographed Jalen Smith jersey. We thought it was funny because the Jalen Smith jersey thing. Yes, it's a giveaway. He is really playing with that ball. Yeah. I thought you were joking that he rolls around with it. No. God, he's nuts. <laughs> yeah, blood. This one, this one is a uh, nineteen dollars a spot break, sir. We can't do everything for free because then we run out of money. It'd be a bad business model. Sorry, sir. So, yeah, the random division works with the helmet. So there's one helmet. You random the divisions. Whoever gets the division that matches the helmet uh, goes into it. The Amari jersey. So what happens is every time you buy in a break, your name goes into a list. Every time you buy personal boxes, uh, personal boxes are what? Four spots? Personal boxes? We decide. We have those separated. We have to figure out, it's, we have to figure out if we're doing four or five spots for the personal boxes. Oh, personal. Oh, for the. Okay. Yeah, for Sorry, the brain. Four. Four spots for the personal four. boxes? Yeah. So those all go in the list. And then after we get back from uh, Rhode Island, we'll do the random. So we'll random off. Yeah, we didn't get a, a good as much of a price break this time, Phil. They gave us a, bit, a little better price break last time, so. It's him laughing. But <laughs> hey, <laughs> smashing jokes here. So. All right, is Rob still on? Okay, there you go. He's up here. Rob, okay. Rob's here. Hey, Rob's here. All right, personal boxes for Rob. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna. Open the cards. Gypsy will display them since she can't use her left hand really well. <laughs> my phone. Why'd you move my trash can? Because I moved it so you could get out of your chair. Thank you. Welcome. So, you going to go through your spiel as I'm opening things here? I usually Hi, don't welcome for, to Gypsy. I usually don't for personal boxes, sorry. You should. It's not a habit. There's no people. Hmm? All right, so top left of your screen, guys, since you already said hi, this is Ribbon Gypsy. Hi, this is Ribbon Gypsy. Glitter. Yeah, your daughter's trying to talk me in a confetti cannon. Yes. Top left is our bird's eye. You can see Smash opening the boxes here. Top right, chat cam. And front and center is our card cam and our break. Ah. Hurts to the elbow. Oh. Um, up here in purple is our break title. This is a personal break for Rob Dieterle. Star Wars Black and White, Empire Strikes Back. Oh, fishing oh, didn't hear. Oh, Phil doesn't know. So, Phil, what happened was we were watching Justice League last night. And um, Gypsy was trying to be nice and give some of our kids ice cream cake, which is left over from Dominic's fifth birthday last week. So she pulled it out of the freezer, and apparently Gypsy's idea of time, how things think, how fast things should fall, are not really in line with how they really work in the real world. So she took a chef's knife, chef's knife, our big chef's knife, and tried to two-hand the chef's knife to get into the cake and get through it after it set out for like five minutes. Fifteen. Like five minutes, and her her left hand might have slipped off the tip. At the same time, the knife might have j jammed into her wrist. Came up. So. Um, yep. She might have lacerated, which means cut in half, some of her tendons in her hand. So she has limited mobility in some of her fingers right now. So. That's what happened to your gypsy. <laughs> so she wants to break until hopefully doctor tomorrow and hopefully surgery early next week. So I am opening packs for her and she's displaying cards. Um. Really? Yes, bird. So, a little bit slower this, a little bit slower than normal guys. But again, she wants to break and be on with you guys. So, 
<laughs> Phil, Phil gives me too much credit. That's what you said. I did. You can talk to people. Oh, I was, I was letting you I'm just tell the, help. the story. I'm just the help. I was letting you tell See, the story. See, what happened was, there was a frying pan, and it hurt a lot. So we did realize, though, because she passed out on me right before we going to the hospital. And, um... Well, it's funny, when you pass out in the hospital lobby, you get back really fast. Um, <laughs> they, I told her that she passed out, and they put her in a chair, and as they're wheeling her around the corner, uh, she passed out, like, head back, just drunk and blacked out, passed out, kind of. And uh, they, she went back real fast after they, that. They didn't believe us before that. And, oh, no, they went out the chair. She said, okay, hang on, you know. But they were going to have her sit out in the lobby and wait, but she went back pretty quick. Um... Unfortunately, the hand doctor was supposed to see her today, but he had an extra case come up he had to take. Yeah, there's, there's box one. All right. I'll start you opening box start two over here. Them over, yeah. All right. Han Solo's desperate plea. So for breaks this week, guys, they'll be a little bit slower than normal, and I'll be here helping her open cards, and she'll do I'm her display and talk. I'm not gonna uh, go through every name of every card. This is merely a flash move. I love that he's making Monty Python references for me. Oh, that sucks, pets. What? Alright, there's a Sepia, Princess Leia's Vigil. He's really sexy. He's playing, Daddy. He's going nuts. Our Laura Keat is over here playing with his ball. Making all sorts of noise. What do you do with your store when you're doing this? Huh? I, I can't see how many spots are left. Oh. Yeah. So guys, Thanks. with the uh, discussion, we got the feedback again today that our, our store does not show spots left. And we completely agree. That's, that's why we're getting rid of that store. Why we're gone next week, so after Monday's breaks, um, we will... Well, depends if she has her surgery Monday or not. If she has her surgery, we're not breaking Monday night. But um, next week, our, our website will be going down officially to get upgraded to the new website, which will tell you how many spots are left in each break so you can stop asking us. Yes. So. But. Yeah, four left. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I could push through like I did last time. Last time I had surgery, I went and coached uh, cheerleading the same day. Exploring the cave, uh, blue variant. Blue. Now imagine him on the floor with more room doing this. He's nuts. This is what we play. We played this in the morning. Oh, that's just funny. I've never seen a bird legit lay on his back and like throw a ball around. Ah, wait till he does it with the stuffy. Nah, dude. Kids being born is all, is all worth it, dude. It's alright. I was more worried to, about traumatizing Smash when our daughter was born than anything else. <laughs> oh, man. They made him get out of the room for the epidural. Yeah, I left her in the epidural. I didn't stay around for that. They wouldn't let you. Because I was like, I'll, I'll hang on to him. And they are like, no, nope, no, nope, he needs to go out in the hallway. Okay. Like, by the way... Ooh, purple! Nice! Eight yeah. of twenty-five! Boba Fett reveals himself. You sound like a droid. Fenny? He? he sounds like a, like a worker droid or something. Mm-hmm. He's legit headbutting. Yeah! Like I said, wait until he plays with the stuffy, it's even funnier. Your... Well, he's starting to. No, he throws it. He gets on his back and, and puts it... Sorry, guys. I don't spend a lot of time with the bird. Even though we just got a call from the shop where we buy our birds from, we have two. Lovey's a parrotly and he's a lorikey. Uh, they have a green-tipped macaw that someone put a deposit on over a year ago and has never bought it. Hasn't even came in to see it. Yeah. And uh, Min every time Minnie's in there, she always plays and 
Oh, thanks. Let's get that. I see that. Uh, she plays with him and or her, and like she holds him. The, ba- the, the legit this McCall like wraps up like a baby with her, and uh, the owners finally decided that he's willing to sell it to us. So, watching in horror sepia. We might be getting a giant McCall. After we get back. <laughs> yeah. Get back. Like part of it. If, we haven't decided yet. I'm 50-50 on it right now because the McCall will go in my office and I'll try to bond with it. He'd be my bird. So. I think she's big enough. These two are really small and she's a big baby though. Oh yeah. And she does. She likes being she likes being cradled in your arms like a baby and hugged. So let's say She's Thursday the twenty fourth. Okay, so yeah, all the all the Metal prints and all that stuff went out yesterday, guys. Yeah, they should um, have them in a day or two. I talked with Rob. Ooh, yeah. How you card? It's, uh, it's up there by... Okay. Um, Sepia worried for 3PO. So Rob is aware of the risk, the rated R series or garage series prints were a little bit more popular. So we're going to get a couple of those hopefully made up here soon. Plus we're dealing with some other potential breaks and stuff to build with the uh, print and artwork. So, be looking forward when we get back from Rhode Island, there'll be some new more Aquatoss breaks coming up. Yeah! So. Alright, Mark Capri as Officer McKay. Nice auto. That's one of the nicest ones I've seen. It's a good auto, yeah. It's very good. Auto. I like the movie, or the character autos, because, no offense, athletes scribble. <laughs> See, Zion Williams' auto looks like the third grader did it. Hey, Jamon. I love Jamons. So the crazy part about Jamon, so talking about Jamon Moore for Green Bay, one of the first breaks we did, uh, <laughs> one of the first breaks we did, we actually pulled a Jamon Moore, and it was a full autograph. Yeah. It was Luminance, and it was an on-car draft day. It, was, it wasn't the J-Dot or the J-Dot-M. It was a full Jamon Moore, and we were joking about how we should have kept it or bought it off the person. Yeah. Because it's the only full autograph of Jamon Moore we've ever seen. Or that one break shortly after when I said, oh, I like his auto, and then I pulled like three of them in one break. Ooh. Six of 99. There's a green Seeking Yoda. Sorry, the, the, Yoda, scenes in, the Yoda scenes in green are awesome. Yeah. That's this cool looking. That purple one, though, that I oh, pulled. Was... Purple and Vader looks good. A red Vader would be awesome. Yeah. I don't think they did the medals in, in this series, though. It's the only thing. I think it was just the series before they did the medals. Yeah. Just cool we found that one. Right. No. Uh, if you guys are Star Wars people, we got a uh, one of their friends on here, uh, customers slash friends, uh, wampum food. Yeah. Uh, Wampum. We actually got on his. On, with, we convinced him to do his uh, discussion about the trailer for Rise of Skywalker live on uh, Twitch. The bounty hunter passes in Sepia. So we actually were, were, were with him when he was doing it and uh, throwing out different ideas. But check out his channel. Definitely cool stuff for uh, Star Wars guys. Uh, he doesn't do a lot of live stuff, but definitely fun guy to check out. Right, Grammy? Readable for a change? I hear ya. Now, we do have Star Wars Evolution left. We'll put some of those up for this weekend. Jedi's up right now. Yeah, we have Jedi, but I want to put some Evolution up to see if we get Evolution. Alright, box two. Uh, Evolution seems interesting. Those are the variants. The parallels? Parallels. The variants. Variants. You talking comic book. I know. I got Amish Paradise playing in my ear. It's, it's messing with me. <laughs> then Masterworks comes out end of November, so we're hoping to get a few cases of that. Ooh, there we go. General Veer's report. There's a blue. Yeah, and there's General Veer's base. <laughs> Blues are nice, too. It's blue. I do like the blues. I... But I like 19 over 18 because you can actually tell. So you can tell the color difference, yeah. 
They're hard. 18 is, you can't tell what color they actually are. Let's look at the number. Yeah, green and blue are hard to distinguish, and red, red and purples. Yeah. Red and purples were the hard ones. Oh, I talked to Rob today. And Kristen, if you're a Star Wars person, you might like this too. Um, or even if Blood's still on or whoever's still here. They're actually coming out in March. They're coming out with a Women of Star Wars product line yes. for, tra for trading cards. It'll be one kind of like this where it's one autograph per box, but it's only the female characters in Star Wars. That looks cool. That's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, Rob, remind me, we gotta buy our passes for Rhode Island still. Okay. Ooh, there's oh. a purple 7 of 25 defending the escape. So people were talking to me about going to Comic Cons. Well, I'm not a huge comic guy. I, I enjoy it. It's fun. I don't get too much into it. And people were telling me I need to get a get a costume. So yeah. I was thinking I would go as I have the body type to go as Betamax. So I think that's the best body costume I can go with <gasps> for body typing. You sweat your butt off in that thing. It's got a fan to keep the air blowed up. True. Halfway through though, our luck the fan would break. Or I'd fart and that would be bad. <laughs> Part in a Betamax costume, it would not turn out well. Uh, <laughs> I, I could I could put uh, black stuff in my hair and go as um, hero. Ah, I could. All right, there we go. Old friends reunited. Sepia. That's fair enough, Kristen. Hmm. What? Well. She says she hasn't seen anything since the eighties. I'll be honest. The first, I'll be honest. Series or episode one, two, and three, not my faves <laughs> at all. That says she should be Juggernaut. Juggernaut would work. The big chrome dome helmet. A rhino? I could be rhino. Chrome. Juggernaut's right, whatever stone. Whatever that. It's not stone. It's a big metal helmet he wears so that, uh, oh, yeah. that way Xavier can't read his brain. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I traded Dick for Sutton. So, yeah. Thanks. So... Thanks, Scott Pets. I, I I hope you. Ooh, ooh. Do you see it? Mm-hmm. I covered it. Ooh. I covered it because it was the cards were slipping. Ooh. Here, get ready to. I'm trying to keep them. It's just not working. You want to slide? Here. Sit it down. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That is hilarious. All right. Uh, there we go. Losing the Millennium Falcon. Sepia. That's kind of fun. That's very funny. W way to go, Tops. Alright, <laughs> so there's Mark Capri again, but this one's a 38 of 99 blue. Awesome. Blue! I like that. That's a good hair situation. Oh. Oh, Phil got into something. Phil got into something. I'm dropping. Sorry, guys. When the crow goes off, you know people are buying stuff. Yep. Or you can spend $60 on a mystery box and get a Sam Plus dog toy. Hey, I like my stuff, Sammy. Pick your mouth. Oh. Bite it. Bite it. Here you go. That sounded horribly wrong. Oh, God. Oh, that was horrible. Oh. Are you, thank, admitting you have a biting oh, fetish? Thank God Tippy's not here. Oh, that'd be bad. <laughs> oh, God, if Tippy was here. Oh, I'm dude. sorry, Rob. Rob's at home, too. Oh, wow. Well, if you buy the baiting. mini helmets, the mini helmets break, we might get free stuff. He's baiting. I know he is. You're going to go for it, too. I know. Scott always baits me in everything. I know. Problem is, I'm right here in front of her so she can reach me. But I'm on her weak side right now. She can't get the left hand I going. I can still kick you. God, why would you? You're so mean to me. Repairing the Falcon in Sepia. Oh, he's got a point. Yeah, by two spots. That's true. That is very true. 
Yes. Yeah, it was blue the 99, yeah. Same auto, but blue. Let's go through these just a bit quicker. My hand! Daddy took my hand! <laughs> oh, a redneck voiceover of Star Wars would be amazing. Oh, where's Wampa Mac? I know. I think he's doing wedding stuff. Yeah. Wampa, he's getting married next week. Wampa's getting married, so we'll never see him again. Lando and Sepia. Jeremy's pushing for Phoenix Draft. We got eight left in those. Two spots or what, Rob? He's probably texting me. Probably. And you left your phone in your office, didn't you? Yeah. Rob, what do you want? Two spots in the mini helmets? Can you put RD on that for me, please? The truffle shuffle. Can I keep... Our two-year-old does the truffle shuffle. She's cute and she does it. Alright, so we got our Mark Capri, 38 of 99 auto. Nice blue. Defending the escape, 7 of 25 purple. Seeking Yoda, 6 of 99 in green. Our first auto, Mark Caffrey. It's Officer McKay. And our purple, 8 of 25. Boba Fett reveals himself. Is the Emperor Palpatine? Yes, yes, Especially he is. Since Palpatine is coming back in the next movie, yeah, it's pretty big. And with some of the potential spoilers we've heard, definitely uh, could be big in the Star Wars line. Rob, awesome break, sir. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. I still don't have no idea what you want two spots for. All right, guys, that's the end of Rob's break. We're gonna head Let's back to our live over. screen. What's over here? Hang on, one thing at a time. Push this 